We're here today at Advanced Battery Concepts in Clare, Michigan, a few hours north of Detroit. We're going to be speaking with Ed Schaefer, the owner and founder of the company, and find out how they're innovating the way of lead-acid battery technology. Come on, let's go. I'm Ed Schaefer, CEO of Advanced Battery Concepts and the founder. Advanced Battery Concepts was uh, founded in 2009 in my garage. It started with an opportunity, a problem. The world needs better batteries. We need it for electrification of our vehicles. We need it for renewable energy to support wind and solar. And so there's been a lot of great research in battery technology. And there was an opportunity on what's called a bipolar battery. Bipolar designs have been around for a long time. They are known to make lead batteries in particular better, but nobody figured out a way to make it manufacturable. So in that little garage with a clean piece of paper in 2009, I said, I think I can do this. And where we are today, well, we now have uh, six licensees globally, uh, ranging from countries like China to India to Bulgaria, Europe, uh, America, and then a bunch in America, of course. And we're now finalizing the engineering and manufacturing equipment so that our licensees can begin to produce our Green Seal batteries. Green Seal technology is really a suite of technologies that is required to build a successfully uh, uh, produced bipolar lead battery. And that bipolar battery has to have, one, the performance we need and expect today, and hopefully even better. It needs to be recyclable. Like I said, lead is 99% recyclable, so you better fit into that stream. And third, it better be cost effective. This technology, Green Seal, can be used where lead is used today. So you can make starting batteries with it. Uh, you can make e-bike batteries for China, and you can make e-rickshaw batteries, you can make forklift batteries. So everywhere lead is used today, we can use Green Seal technology, and that's great for our licensees. My name's Adam Cadena. I oversee the component assembly area I'm the SME for that area. I also oversee um, all the joining operations in the plant. Um, I work on product development and design, and I also work on some of the equipment. At the multi-access, we do a couple of different things. We've got a bus bar assembly that takes the terminal. We've got a couple different terminal configurations. Most common that we use right now is the SAE post. So we'll take the SAE post, which needs to be joined to the bus bar. That's the first step through the multi-axis. And then the operator or technician will come in and he'll run this process, which will join these two together. Then the battery that we're going to be building will take these bus bar assemblies and we put them on to the battery, which has terminal brackets sticking through. We load that in after we've set up for this different configuration of welding. And then we use the multi-axis to join the bus bar actually to the battery terminal brackets. So some of the benefits that we have from using the multi-access is the versatility for many different battery formats that can fit in that workspace. The second would be um, the robustness of the joint, the penetration that we're able to get. Uh, all of this adds to the quality of the battery. So not only do we get versatility, we get a more robust product. Another uh, technology that we worked on with IPG and it is the IPG scan head laser, and um, we use that for treating the foil surface. When we receive the foil, there can be contaminants and different things that can cause a barrier to create a chemical reaction between the positive and negative active material and the foil surface. When we run it through the process that we developed working with IPG of treating the surface, we remove all of those contaminants. You know, I love this because we're creating something valuable for our community. You know, we're, we're doing something that benefits the world, but also our community by providing jobs and growing it. Working together to solve problems, uh, having that family spirit within the company, the relationships we build, and really helping the community here in Clare is really the things that make me most passionate.